Okay, so um, uh, let's get to talking about uh, Castle in the Sky now. Um, you know, I've said before that I've been seeing uh, the Studio Ghibli films from their uh, Ghibli Fest recently. Um, and now I get to talk about Castle in the Sky. Um, uh, much like Totoro, um, this is one that I haven't really seen um uh, seen much of um to be honest i mean i had seen uh clips beforehand and uh i've seen a few scenes here and there and i know like one or two cast members that were uh a part of it um it was also one of the films that uh played when uh cartoon network did uh their month of miyazaki back like 10 years ago Oh, that was like 10 years ago. Um, yeah, they played that along with uh, Princess Mononoke, Spirited Away, and Nausicaa. Um, uh, which, uh, Nausicaa, next month, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully will be the first time I finally see it all the way through. Uh, but Castle in the Sky was actually a... Uh, it was definitely a lot, a lot better than I was expecting it to be. Um, it was kind of long, actually. Um, yeah, because I was looking at the runtime, because I remember that it started at, like, uh, 12... I don't know. I'm, I'm looking this up. Hold on. Yeah, I know I'm doing this a lot, but, hey, could you really blame me? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh yeah, it is two hours. Uh, yeah, because I, I remember some of the... Uh, because after coming out of like Kiki and Totoro, uh, I, I think that might be it because I'm starting with some of the more wholesome stuff and then going into some of the more uh, grittier stuff. Like, yeah, I think that's actually a pretty good transition when it comes to like Miyazaki's work. It's like go from, like, something as wholesome as Totoro and then slowly ease yourself in a little bit more with, like, Castle in the Sky, which has sky pirate violence. Um. <clears throat> but, yeah, uh. Come on. There we go. Yeah, um. Yeah, it's... It's definitely a film that still holds up today. Um, or I guess, I guess, because, like, you know, it's, like, it's been like, well, the film's like 31 years old. Um, but yeah, it's like the animation and the and the characters are just like I don't think it's uh, I don't think these characters are some of Miyazaki's uh, best written, but I would definitely I would definitely say they were up his caliber because um, you know you really get into You know, you really get into Pazu and uh, Shida's relationship uh, of, uh, you know, just trying to find Laputa and protect it from uh, <clears throat> uh, Mushka. I'm, I'm sorry if I sound distracted. It's just, it's been a while since I've seen... Uh, it's actually it's been like it's almost been a week since I've seen the movie and I'm already forgetting about it this is why it helps to do these things sooner um yeah uh the, the one the one cast member I was actually uh very aware was in this uh in this uh dub that I read from the movie is uh Mark Hamill as uh, the villain Moshka uh which we'll be getting to later on uh yeah, um, yeah, his voice acting uh, with this performance, it definitely has a bit of a, it definitely has a hint of, you know, his Joker voice in it, but it's not to the point where it's like, you can, you're definitely hearing the Joker. Joker. It's just like, it's just like in some certain places here and there, but not entirely. Um... Yeah, I, 
I don't know if I have much to say on this one. I this, this is usually what uh, why it kind of gets kind of hard talking about these movies. I, I, I'm easily distracted. <sighs> Plus, I, <laughs> I'm a bit of on, on a time limit. Um, I guess I could, like, uh, alright, um, I would definitely have to say my favorite sequence, uh, from the, from the film is when they first, uh, enter in, uh, oh wait, there is one funny bit I, like, I want to talk about, and it's like when, you know, you know, when, it's when Pazu and Cheetah are working together with the pirates, uh, led by their mother, and, you know, there's one joke where it's like, Sheeta has a lot of work to do in the kitchen. The guards say, like, hey, I can help you out if if you might like me, but... And then it's revealed, like, every one of them is helping out. And th th that was a pretty funny bit. Um, uh, although I think... Uh, although I think uh, my favorite scene in the film is when, um... You know, Sheeta and Pauzu are first entering the castle, and they're... You know, seeing this forest within, and... It's just a really, it's just really beautiful scenery to look at, um, especially when the robot comes in to deliver a, a flower to the grave. It's it's just really beautiful moments like that 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 just uh, <clears throat> really kick in. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I think that's uh, all I got to say. Um, so. Yeah, castle in the sky. Enough said.